She gave all she had, which was to my heart. Recall them in the Bible, the widow of my heart. She gave him as a gift when Jesus gave the offering. the right thing because it is the right thing so our children can have a chance at a sliver of what we have grown up in scars and all this experiment is the only time man has lived a life like this it's not a coincidence the world changed as the age of enlightenment happened and Americans set man free it's not a coincidence. If we want it for our children and our grandchildren, we must pledge our lives and our fortunes. But we already know that instinctively. If anyone has ever had a child who is seriously ill, you know you have stood in that hospital and you have fallen to your knees and you have said, Lord, give it to me. Give it to me. Let them live. Let them have a shot. I'll take it on. That's who we must be today. We must take it on so our children can have a chance. We must be willing to trade places with our children. Our children will be slaves to a debt. Slaves, we must trade places with them. There are children, teach them these things. I ask you, bring your son or daughter. Stand here. I know, I know that if you do your job, if you pledge to yourself that you will restore honor in your own life, we will mean freedom better than how we found it. So our children can find the giant inside of them somewhere in this crowd. No, I have been looking for the next George Washington. I can't find him. I know he is in this crowd. He may be eight years old, but this is the moment. This is the moment that he dedicates his life. at a crossroads. And this is the point of choice. You must choose whether we wallow in our scars. Countries make mistakes. We have made more than our fair share. But it is what you do with those mistakes. We choose to wallow in them. We learn from the past and ask for redemption. For tomorrow, yesterday is gone. Tomorrow may never come. But we have today to make a difference.